Now there's one more thing I want to show you. Down here I have these two lines commented out and this just all this does is set the buffer to the original G buffer that we rendered to and then it clears the buffer. And if you'll recall we're, we were passing the depth buffer from the G buffer to this refraction material and that doesn't make a copy of it, it just uses the same texture. So if I clear the buffer before the transparent objects are rendered, then that will be effectively erasing that depth information and I'll show you what happens. Now you might be able to see just barely on the edges the around the red cube uh, the transparent surface is refracting this object that's in front of it which uh, that's shouldn't be happening. And I'll increase the effect so you can see it better. See it looks like kind of a nice reflection but it's not very accurate and that's not really what we want. So that's why we pass the depth information to the shader. So now you know about transparency and you know how to render some pretty impressive refraction effects and this is a good tool for you to have because it just it's a nice uh, it's a nice effect for your games.